Hey guys, hope you're all okay. Today we're going to uh, demonstrate a video on how to upgrade from Jesse Debian 8 to the new Debian OS codenamed Stretch. So, first of all, let's start off to confirm the version we have. Cat uh, etc slash Debian underscore version. And we're on 8.9. Okay, you can also use this command, minus A, you name minus A, to see that, yes, we're running a 3.6 kernel, and uh, this is a, three, this is a, by the way, to start off, this is a Debian installation with 3CX fully installed and fully working using the 3CX ISO for Debian 8. Okay, so let's start off with the first command, apt-get clean to clean the apt repository and uh, ensure the cache the apt cache is clean next let's we we should when we update an operating system we should always make sure that we update the os from a stable point what's a stable point the stable point is to get your jesse 8 fully updated that's what debian developers are asking us to do that's what we should do otherwise if you just update um, uh, your debian in the middle or in uh, uh, when there are more updates then you you're asking for trouble so let's apt minus y minus minus force minus yes update so basically we are telling debian go in your jesse repository see what you have to update and update okay all packages are up to date and now let's do apt minus y minus minus force minus yes upgrade here we're going to upgrade the operating system. There is nothing to upgrade because everything is updated and everything is okay. These are commands to show you what you do in case you're not up to date. In my case, I had nothing to update and upgrade because my Debian was fully up to date. So my Debian now is a perfect candidate to go to stretch. So um, we're going to now enter the 3CX, so Debian, Debian 8 came with a specific Jesse repository. Now we have to change that and uh, change the repository to stretch. So I'm going to show you what to do. So basically we're going to go to, excuse me, we're going to go to uh, etc apt sources dot list dot d 3cx pbx dot list and here we're going to find that the repository is still on jesse and we're just going to change this to stretch checking that it's named correctly stretch correct control x y yes save enter okay i can do this again to check and it's good okay after we are going to now now we're going to update the repositories for the operating system so if we go here the repositories for the operating system are found here in etc apt sources.list our task is to change every instance every occurrence of the word jesse to stretch to do this quickly, we're going to use a set command, okay, which is sed minus i, that actually tells the, any occurrence of Jesse replace it with stretch in the file sources.list. Enter, and if I go back here, I will see that everything is replaced with stretch. Okay, we're good. Now we're going to force an update to reindex the repositories. We change the repository. Okay, so now we're going to tell our Debian 8, go to the new stretch repositories and see what you've got to update in there. Enter. This will take some time. I will pause the video. Okay, everything is updated and everything is done. Now, I always separate an OS upgrade from the application I'm interested in. So when I update the OS, I want to remove the application. I don't want to update the operating system while my app is still there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove 3CX PBX so I can just focus my efforts on the OS update. 
notice I'm not doing this, the minus minus purge option. I'm not doing this. Why? I want to keep my data there. I just want to remove the 3CX app. Okay? 3CX will be removed. And after 3CX is removed, now is the time to actually go ahead and upgrade Jesse to Stretch. Okay, so to do this, we're going to run this command apt y minus minus force, yes, upgrade. Upgrade. This will take some time. Okay, we have a question here configuring libcs. Okay, we're going to okay this. We'll upgrade it. We will upgrade it, yes. Another question, yes. Restart services during package upgrades without asking, yes. Let it do what it wants to do, when it wants to do, without asking us, it's okay. Okay, configuring OpenSSH server. In this case, we will keep the local version currently installed. I'm doing this only for this dialogue. We will see other dialogues. The next question we have is configuring PostgreSQL. So I'll explain this. Needs two seconds, yeah? So Jesse had Postgres 9.4. When 3CX was installed on Jesse, it used Postgres 9.4. One of the improvements of, spread, of Stretch is the new Postgres update 9.6. So 3CX now needs to talk 9.6 to Postgres 9.6. This is a warning that's going to tell us, listen, um, what, uh, before you had Postgres, this is just a warning informing us that before we had Postgres 9.4, and this and now we're going to have 9.6. When we're talking about database upgrades, a database is the app, and then there is what we call the cluster. So now we're going to have a situation where we have the Postgres version 9.4 removed, replaced with 9.6, a new dummy default cluster for 9.6 will be present, and we're also going to have a 9.4 cluster as well. This is just some briefing because we're going to run some commands and now everything will fall in place, yes? Now, configuring unattended upgrades. For this question, we're going to install the package maintainer's version. So, for SSH, I kept my current settings. But for this question, I'm going to install the packagers, Debian, Debian's version, yeah? What Debian developers want me to, to put, want, want to put in their new OS. <coughs> Sorry. So now the update is actually ready. Now is the time to run a very intelligent command. And this is apt minus y minus minus force, yes this upgrade what does this do what this does it also intelligently handles the changing dependencies from new versions of packages it it abuses the a smart feature of apt this is something we need to do enter this will take some time and i'll be back okay now uh, the, the upgrade is complete. So now you should have seen from the video. You, you should, you guys are are, are seeing the structure of how I'm working. So uh, I prepared the OS. First, I updated Jesse. Then I updated. Then then I removed 3CX. Then I updated and upgraded anything related to Jesse to Stretch. Now there was a Postgres warning, and we're going to tackle that. Because that warning is worrying, yes? So first of all, we're going to ensure that 9.6 is installed. Okay? We don't need to run this command, but we're going to do it. 
So basically, I'm telling, I'm telling, I'm, I'm telling, uh, I'm telling Debian, apt minus y force yes install Postgres 9.6 version. And Debian told me, okay, um, zero upgraded, zero new result. I, you have 9.6. Wonderful. Now, as I said, when Postgres is installed, it comes with a cluster. They we really have to drop this cluster. PG drop cluster. Stop 9.6 main. Enter. So now the 9.6 cluster, it stopped. Now, when I ran the command of 3CX, I removed 3CX application only. The 9.4 cluster, why 9.4? Because I had 9.4 before. The 9.4 cluster remained there. So let's go in that 9.4 cluster and upgrade it. PG upgrade cluster 9.4 main. This will upgrade my 9.4 X3CX cluster to 9.6, so it can talk in the same language with Postgres 9.6. So that's another check. So um, uh, let's go over again. So we are all the time reassuring in our minds the process. First, we updated Jesse. Check. Then we upgraded. Then we removed 3CX. Check. Then we upgraded. Um, then we then we upgraded Jesse to Stretch. Check. Then we fixed the Postgres dependency. Check. Now we have to see. Now we're going to stay in the dependency area, and we're going to see an, one more dependency that 3CX needs. Just blindly enter this command: apt minus y force yes install libcurl. We need libcurl. 3CX needs libcurl. Enter. It will install this version of libcurl. And now that dependencies are ready, everything is ready for 3CX to be freshly installed, we can now, with dependencies checked, install 3CX PBX. Okay, so now 3CX is actually installed. Um, and uh, basically, we are nearly ready. Just some cleaning and housekeeping we have to do left. At this point, we would uh, launch 3CX using the old IP and ensure that everything is working. Um, uh, so one second, let me get the IP address, what I had before, 056, 056. I'm going to just give a small check to 3CX just to make sure that my extensions are all there to see that, that basically I am able to talk my, um, to the database, yes? Because we left the data there and we upgraded it. So we just log in. Now all you have to do is just log into the 3CX management console, ensure you can log in, see that you can access the services from the services dashboard page, perform add an extension, confirm that you don't get any exceptions, see that all your extensions and previous data are all there, and basically that confirms that we have a link to the previous cluster, to the newly upgraded cluster we left on the machine, which we upgraded. And now we're running Postgres 9.6. So, when we are ready, I responsibly like to clean. I don't like to leave dirt on the machine. So, one, the first, the first cleanup we're going to do, let me, let, me, let, me, let me clear the page so we can clear, so we can see. The first cleanup I like to do is PG drop cluster minus minus top 9.4 main. Basically, here, I'm going to remove any remnants of 9.4 Postgres after this. We're going to, after this, we're going to auto-remove any leftovers and clutter that was there from previous packages. apt-get, minus y, minus force, minus yes, auto-remove, enter. Look at all the cleanup we're doing here. Cleaning up the machine, leaving the machine healthy in a state where we have an optimal version of 3CX and Debian installed. Cleaning up is very important. Some people associate cleaning up with breaking stuff, but if you know what you're cleaning up, it's okay. After this, I, of course, like to run apt-get clean to clean my apt-cache. And now, essentially, we just need to confirm that 
We're running the latest version, cut etc slash the beyond underscore version. Okay, 9.2, 9.2. Now, remember, you try and run this command, you're going to get something wrong here. Yes, why? Guys, we've just updated the operating system. I think a reboot is deserved, yes? So we're going to reboot. Shut down, sorry, shut down my Nazar now. The reboot will occur. Um, the, of course, your session will be lost and we will, we, we will reconnect again. And now we will, after the reboot, we will uh, launch uname minus a again and we should get something completely different. Here we can see that the connection closed. Debian is restarting. Restart session. I'll keep on doing this until it starts. The improvements of, uh, the, well, I should have spoken about this before, but yes, upgrading to Debian Stretch. Debian Stretch has a lot of improvements, yes. It has a new kernel, which can support modern hardware and can uh, also support the new Intel Skylake chipsets. Improvement to APT and uh, its security is beefed up also. So, yes, let's see if we can restart the session now. Ah, yeah, we can. Yes. Okay, let's try the command again. Clear. U name minus A. Bam, there we are. 4.9 kernel, Debian 9. I hope you have found this interesting and I thank you for watching.